Hello and welcome to the Bentley channel. I'm Shmi150 and you join me today here in Crewe, England, the home of Bentley, to take a look at this, the Bentley Bateau by Mulliner. This is the start of a new era for Bentley, looking towards beyond 100. What is going to be happening next with battery electric vehicles on the horizon, but celebrating with coach building at its finest, a model limited to only 18 cars, following on from Bacalar that had come before, but also celebrating the iconic W12 engine, the 740 horsepower, six litre twin turbocharged 12 cylinder. In fact, the most powerful production Bentley ever in this car of which there will only be 18 lucky people to own. But what I'd like to talk about today is the extremes that Mulliner can go to to create a bespoke vehicle from paintwork to designs to trims to ideas to concepts to run through the car and touch on some of these in more detail. What goes into producing 18 completely unique specifications for each of the customers around the world? To talk a little about Bateur though, this is the design and inspiration for what's going to be coming next. A new era in terms of the headlight design with the eyebrows, the endless bonnet line that encompasses the cabin, creating almost two different distinct areas of the car. And how can you then work with that at Mulliner to create something completely bespoke? The new style of the grille, more confident in the way that it's pronounced, pivoted forwards. But as you start to look at this, you can see the bezel surround, this hub area up top with the logo, the spine in the center, these inlays within the grill, the fact that you have these different areas, and therefore how can you work with that to produce something that's totally one of a kind, especially when we move to the interior. Now on this car, we've got the dark titanium with the breeze inlays, which match with some of the wheels and other accents around and all contrast against this Mariana teal paintwork, which very much inspires from Lake Batur, from which the car gets its name. Lake Batur in Bali, Indonesia, of course, with this shade, this color palette. Now, as you head around the car, again, all of the different trims and inlays can be painted, can be in a bespoke color. Even the exposed visual carbon fiber, in this case in satin, could also be in gloss finish. We have the new design of the headlights, these narrow lights wrapping around the corners. As we come towards the wheels, as I mentioned, the color scheme, you see that again here with the breeze accents, carbon ceramic brakes as standard, but even these could be separated or finished in multiple different tones, even in body color, you name it, the world is your oyster when it comes to working with Mulliner. Now the endless bonnet line in here in the dark titanium carries all the way around the cabin. Even when it reaches the back, it creates a separation which we'll get to. But I want to show you as well a quick glimpse at the interior before we're going to take more of a look at this later and how these same color palettes are brought to the interior to show you the full effect of the bespoke levels and what's really possible with the car. Now, as we get to the tail, you can see how there are again, these lines that flow around the vehicle. In fact, there's an active spoiler integrated here. You could even, for example, have a logo or some text written on the underside of that so that you can read it when it's up into the air. Continuing down the back, again, different color separation. We've got the exposed carbon fiber finishing around the back of the car. But for example, with the bodywork of this, if you wanted, a completely dual tone car, you could use the dark titanium endless bonnet line to create that separation from the upper sections, have those perhaps in black or even in a contrast color to create something totally different to what you have below. This is where the Mulliner magic truly begins, the interior of Bateur. Now there's a tritone finish and you can imagine with three different color choices, plus the other options that are available, which we'll talk about, 3D printed parts, new textures, different styles. There's an endless and infinite number of different possibilities. Inside here, I'm encompassed by this dragonfly accent, the bright blue, which matches with the Mariana teal on the exterior. But we also have the upper surfaces in beluga, the black leather. We have gravity gray for the accent, which runs across the lower part of the upper dash. Also for the steering wheel, the door cards, and the main parts of the seat. But these are just the beginning because take a look at this. Take a look at the way this leather has a new embossed pattern. And this is where Mulliner can try new techniques, new styles, which will eventually find their way also into further models down the line. That's then complemented with all of the different stitching and contrast to create these totally bespoke finishes. If you look at the upper section of the seat here, finished in the dragonfly leather, 
together. We've got the Flying B embroidery on the headrest, but again, you can play with different stitches. In this case, they're matched to the other colors of the interior. Take a look at these upper wings, how you have both the V and the wave patterns, which could also be in opposing colors to create another mix. As we follow the seat down, we have the black Alcantara, the Dragonfly piping that runs all the way through the center, the perforated leather down at the bottom, and also even down to the contrast stitches, how it can use multiple different colors to create totally different mixtures of appearances and feels when you're in the car. Now as we look around we've got the carbon fiber for the dashboard trim in here. You could even to the passenger side have the sound profile and wave signature of this famous W12 engine embossed and presented on the dashboard. There are so many other details and things to look at and to point out. For example, this carbon trim that runs across the dash going down the driver and passenger door cards also has a fade towards gloss black feeling an encompassing sensation when you're inside the car. The inserts for the doors are actually a byproduct of coffee production made from coffee bean sustainability. Again, looking towards the future, as you take in these dials in the middle of the dashboard on the rotating screen, these are in Silver Lake blue, another unique touch, bringing this all together, matching with the exterior, pulling together a one of one, fully bespoke vehicle and interior presentation. There's more to show you here as well. For example, the door handles, the B graphic, and also 3D printed titanium to the reverse. We've got this laser etched section here, which shows you again an example of what's possible. Continuing further down, the name sound system, a 20 speaker sound system that took 10,000 hours of work to develop. On the side sills, the illumination here can be again customized to have your own text wording, the car number, you name it. Plus a very unique element are the welcome lights that project light down towards the ground. They can also have an animation, whether that's drawing out a logo or even writing a signature in the light footprint down to the ground. A detail I absolutely love here on the steering wheel is this insert at the bottom is painted to bring these colors together, but it has a paint fade from the gloss black through to the blue to match with the dragonfly. And that's the kind of detail which you couldn't do pretty much anywhere else. It's, it's something that took consideration, thought, and bringing together that color palette into every single element of the interior of the Batur. Back to the exterior though, and of course this car is presented in that single tone, but with the choices of sections, for example, if you were to have a contrast color on the upper areas, you can play then with the endless bonnet line coming around the cabin, even the upper surround of the windows to bring together different colors, perhaps even having a single tone with a brighter silver giving the impression of some bright work. You could have the gloss black with a bright color for the lower sections. You could reverse it, have a brighter color over the upper sections. Even the carbon fiber areas could be presented in a different color as well. And I think the idea here is that as a customer, you work directly with Mulliner here in crew, whether that's remotely or coming to visit, to go through the different options, to come up with ideas, to begin with perhaps an initial idea of a paint color, one that you've seen on another Bentley model or something you would want to match, and then extrapolate out from that, producing ultimately a car to your personal taste. And I find it really intriguing to consider the different ideas. It's a totally unique experience, and I've used that word a lot, but I think it very much encapsulates what this car is all about in terms of creating a one-of-one -one batter. Now we're also here of course with the 2006 Pikes Peak Bentayga that you've no doubt spotted alongside. Totally different products but with so much the same idea. You know this is the most powerful Bentley model, the Batur, 740 horsepower, permanent all-wheel drive. You have the eight-speed automatic gearbox, effortless torque, lots and lots of power but it's this period as things begin to change and this design gives us an idea for where the battery EV future is going to lie with Bentley's models everything that's happening in the background with something that makes a true statement following from Bacalar these are no doubt going to find themselves into incredible collections of cars cars that hopefully we will see being driven and certainly will be enjoyed so I hope you've enjoyed as well this full look at the Bentley Batur by Mulliner and a further understanding of the options that are available with Mulliner for customers of a vehicle like this. Thank you very much for watching.